They ain't gon' respect the fact that we run the city Time out the window with the shoddy like the nigga kill Rick I knew I get rich or die trying before I heard 50 Trap full of cash money, I got babies in the niggas Drum on a Drake, look like a hoe with thought wild This bitch busting your blood rushing like you from Moscow You all capping you What up though, you already know how it go Smash, like, subscribe, comment, I don't care what you comment As long as you comment Let me drop y'all some heat before I go to work, man Let's get straight into this video, I ain't gonna hold y'all up Links in the description Hit him. Hit me up. Hey, I appreciate all y'all following me on Instagram too. I'm almost at 800. And I was just at 100. So thank you for the uh, progression. Help me out with the progression, man. Full drive went well. Well, not full drive, but passing out the food. Sorry about 75 people. Uh, corn, macaroni, fried chicken, coffee. Um, next time I want to do it bigger and better. I got the logistics down. So anybody want to help me out, hit that cash app link. I'm going to upload all receipts, all the food I buy. So we know where it's going. So anyway, I'm gonna get into this video, man. I want to talk about prison and predators when newbies ride in. I was at a particular joint where the ride ins was on a Thursday, Thursdays and Fridays. That's where the newbies come in. All the transfers come in on Thursday, and all the newbies come in uh, on a Friday, right? So every day at 4:45, 5 o'clock, the predators will be at the window looking. Who's coming in? Making sure they watch what room they go to so they can go holler at them. So you got different types of predators. You got people to just store people out of cash. You got people to store people out of cash and other stuff. You see the look on my face. You know what I'm talking about, right? Can't get too graphic on YouTube. They, you know, it's a little bit strict. But anyway, so they will be at the window every day. Some of them was worried about maybe people riding in that they had a problem with it another joint or did something to in the streets and then other guys are just looking to go take advantage of the weakest looking person it is and you would tell how sometimes if a person weak or potentially a victim by the way he might make eye contact but he might be scared to make eye contact he might walk in with his head down slouching he might walk in with his eyes big looking everywhere so you know like he kind of scared so you might want to or they might want to push up on him so when a homosexual comes in, you should see guys, man. You should see guys. They calling dibs like, hey, man, you talk to the last one. I got, I'm going to holler at him. You talk to the last any, any feminine type of homosexual coming in? Oh, you talk, uh, you talk to him? Uh, uh, you do, uh, what's up, bro? Hey, look, bro, I got $10. You stay back, bro. I got this one. It'd be crazy. I, 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 I reference it to the movie, The Girl with All the Gifts. You know how, like, in a movie, when the kids, they were like zombies, but they were functioning zombies. They'd be normal, reading, writing, talking, but as soon as they get hungry and they smell human flesh, they just start freaking out and, and want to eat and feed by any means. They would go crazy, right? So that's how I, I looked at that situation. I'm like, man, these people are just like that. The predators are just like that, right? So... I want to um, tell y'all about a time two guys start fighting, right? So, a feminine person walks in. One dude, we just going to call him Joe. I don't remember his name. And then uh, Candyman was the other guy. So, Joe and Candyman, right? Joe and Candyman get to talk and whispering in each other's ear, right? <laughs> then the conversation gradually gets louder. Man, you talked to the last two one, the females that came in here. You had the last two females. Why you always want to do this to me, Joe? Huh? Candyman going off, Joe. Man, it don't matter. I'm macking. I got game. I ain't playing that no more who got deal stuff. Anybody want to do something with me, they can do it. I don't want nobody talking to her. Now, mind you, we talking about another inmate. We in a male facility, right? I don't want nobody else talking to her, dog. Oh. Now, now Joe about 65... Candy man about 66, 67, something like that. Both two cool guys, but that particular day they was on tip. You know what I'm saying? So Candy Man like, forget all that. You better not talk to him. What? Joe, shoot off. Go to the room. Come back upstairs. Y'all see this? Anybody talk to her? Get me. Ain't nobody gonna have her. I'm taking everybody to the box. I see you walking with her. I'm popping you in. Her. Period. That's my... What? Dog, 
just went up the strap on the whole day room. We all looking at him. Nobody, even the tough guys, just like, what? Bro, it ain't that serious, man. It's plenty of other people in here, but they was playing this Dibs game. He go first, he go first, whatever. This guy, get him or whatnot. But that's how they be on Rodney and Day when people come in. They be all out the window. Oh, yeah, that's probably one right there. You know, the white guys will come in, go to their room. They right there. Hey, what's up? What's your name? Let me see your paperwork. Oh, you a sex offender? Oh, look, this is what you're going to have to pay. Blah, 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 blah. You feel me? So you go to prison as a sex offender, boy. It's kind of hard for you. Because if especially if you're white, they find out, boy. <laughs> that's some hard, hard living. I remember one time we pressed up on a Caucasian guy. I mean, and a, and a, and a, and a, and a Moorish American. He wasn't. Rotate with us, but he was a former, or he had more shamanic, but he just wasn't in function with us. He, was, he wasn't entitled to the privileges of us who was mob and rotate, functioning together, right? Making a meeting periods. So, uh, we pressed up on this one guy, right? Mo was so out cold with it, right? Breakfast time, he get half the tray. Breakfast, uh, lunch time, I get half his tray. Dinner time, he get half his tray. Everything was hacked. Anytime, and the dude was his bunkie too. Anytime he opened up a bag of chips, he has to give out half of that bag of chips. Right? If he get store for $100, he could probably have 12 hours of hygiene, a bag of chips or two, and the rest of it all go to us. Mo didn't have no, no, nothing. It was, it was no, no remorse, no nothing, because he was a sex offender. And then he like hated white guys, or I don't know, right? But everything that dude got, if he bought a piece of fudge and the dude dropped it off at the room, Mo, hey, come here, take his whole little bar of fudge, leave him a piece like that, huh? Don't tell me when you 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 tell me when you getting fudge. You want to go home? You want to go home? You keep doing this, I'ma see you home in a body bag, or I'ma see you home with holes in your face. And dude was just so. And, and, and what my and what blew my mind with this guy, man, he was about six four, a little taller than me, kind of stocky, just with, with big old glasses, walk around like this. You could tell something was a little bit wrong with him. He used to go to the med line and take like twenty pills three times a day. Like he really had issues or whatnot, man. But the mo didn't hold nothing back on dude. He wanted everything. So think twice before you go touch on the little kids, for real, for real. Because there's guys in there like him that's way worse than me. Way, way, way worse. I look at that and be like, man, that, I ain't got nothing on him. But um, make sure y'all check out the next video. I'm about to drop a story on a prisoner, Lady Gaga, and how every joint I went to with Lady Gaga, and Lady Gaga rolled in too, it was on the flow. It was going down. It was cracking. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Peace and blessings be upon y'all. Big old fire, y'all know how y'all y'all know what it is. Ha <laughs> ha